Hello everybody, welcome back to the True Start Location Carthage series. This is part 12, welcome back in the last episode. We have made peace with Egypt. In fact, Egypt has declared war on us two episodes prior, and we have decimated them. We actually erased one of their cities from the map they've placed, and we've destroyed their entire army. So that's taken care of. They're actually giving us close to 27 gold per turn, which is fantastic. Really, it's quite worth it. So we're going to kind of shift all of our men to the west, where we will declare war on Rome this episode. I hope you guys are ready for it. I've been ready for it for a, long, a while now. We'll take the glory of Rome for ourselves. Of course, Rome holding a lot of wonders that we covet and would like to take for ourselves. So, with that being said, we are still at war with uh, Spain. In fact, in the last episode, we had also liberated the capital of Portugal, Lisbon, which was a you know a bit of a, a gambit for us because uh, Portugal has recently denounced us. But by liberating Lisbon, it has, I suppose, in a way, reduced our warmongering penalties uh, as seen from other civilizations. So that's nice. So right now, for the time being, we are going to send all of our men up to, I suppose, the Italian peninsula, where they will be ready to declare war on Rome. Um, of course, we have recouped our iron losses. We have, like, six frigates. We are ready for war. Uh, all we need to do now is make peace with Spain. Fucking Spain, always annoying. Um, they know that they're like looking at defeat in the face, but they're they're not gonna like give us anything, which is really kind of annoying. Let's at least get them to give us an embassy. Uh, okay, so Spain is, is stupid. She just call us loco. Well, fuck you too, Spain. Uh, we're gonna make peace with you anyways because we don't want to get war anymore. So right now, like I said earlier, we are going to shift all of our men to, I suppose, the north towards the Italian peninsula. That is, of course, the goal. We're also trying to look for any more of these barbarian encampments. If I had half a mind, I would probably just select honor anyways. Because this would give us a combat bonus to barbarians, uh, and it would show us where their encampments are. So I think I'm going to do that, actually. Which seems a bit loco to me, anyways. But we could also do other things, like taking merchant navy. Um, I really, really want protectionism, actually. Um, hmm. Commerce is good. Well, we'll find out once we get around to it. I mean, uh, at the moment, we don't really need to worry about it. So let's go ahead and end our turn. And again, we are going to set up all of our men to head up to the northwest to take out Rome. We're going to keep an eye on Egypt, though, in the future to make sure that they uh, have left their warmongering behind. It seems that everybody's declaring war in Spain now, which is kind of interesting. And we've got a unit promotion. Fantastic. We, of course, are going to be sending these guys all out to Rome, just like so. It's going to take a few turns for them to get there, but that's fine. We'll heal up these units that are damaged. And all of you frigates are going to go over to Rome as well. Go, go, go. This includes you, too. So, these wounded caravels we're going to send over to heal. This unit we're going to wipe out. We heal this unit, too. Fantastic. And I was really trying to look for any encampments, but I can't find any. In fact, we see a Portuguese scout. Let's go and take out the encampment. Which is a civilian. Uh, we'll return the unit, that's fine. Of course, you're appreciative. That's what you say you are. We're not, we'll believe it when we see it. So let's go ahead and uh, construct another mine on the salt resource over here. And honestly, we need to work on our diplomacy a bit better. Uh, we're going to keep a crossbowman over here in Barcelona just for uh, safekeeping. And of course, all these frigates are going out to Rome. I'm going to heal you up. Actually, we're not going to heal you up. We are going to upgrade you. Well, we'll upgrade you soon. Because as long swordsmen take up iron, which is a resource we need for frigates. Let's go ahead and bombard that unit. Fantastic. And send out all these frigates to the east, where they belong. Of course, we're going to take out this territory over here as well. Be our great admiral, just like so. And what else can we do in this turn? I'm going to move the pikemen over here. So the Saltium, which is actually now growing. In fact, most of our cities are growing now, too, which is really nice. Um, right, so I believe that's all I can do this turn. Let's actually, like I said earlier, we need to work on friendship. Uh, to remain friendly with the people that Bonjour. actually enjoy our company, etc., uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and make open borders with France to increase our relationship with them. Let's go ahead and do the same with Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. We need a defensive pact with Arabia. That would be nice. Um, and let's go over to Gustavus Adolphus. 
oh, we will also make a defensive pact with. Very nice. Um, yeah, so we got we got some friends, and we even had some neutrals too, like like uh, Elizabeth. Oh, it's you. Even though she I'm calls listening. me a dishonorable individual, well, that's a bit unfortunate and a bit a bit rude. A bit of a judgment judgment call. So what we should, what should we do? Should we perhaps um, overthrow Rome as the ally of Ragusa? That could be useful, or maybe even Belgrade. We'll get around to it. Let's go ahead and return again. There's a barbarian encampment right outside of Gades. Jesus Christ. Well, we need to, we need to deal with that. That's uh, that's pretty much the uh, definition of a problem. Um, so, with that being said, we should go ahead and send back our worker this way. And really, people are fighting over what religion we should have in our cities. We're going to, of course, take a monastery as well. Let's increase our, our culture. Um, let's see. Besides that, this crossbowman we were going to upgrade. Let's go ahead and put him over here. That's fine. He's not even a crossbowman. I misspoke, but you guys know what I mean. We need to take out this encampment that's uh, in between all of our major cities. We're going to get around to that just in a moment. Let's go ahead and return. Let's see what this does. You'll pay for this in time, Egypt, you slimy, slimy dog. Fuck no. That is like the worst deal you've ever given me, Germany. That is awful. We'll give you salt, but give us something respectable like 7 GPT or 6 GPT. Nothing, nothing or anything lower than that, then you're not even worth it. So fuck you, Germany. We're going to give you the same deal. If you don't want it, that's your own problem. Nope. Will you do it with us? Like this? Six? Five? Fuck you. Acceptable. Okay, six. Five. Okay, well, we, we need to build up friendship, so we'll take a five. That, that's okay. Portugal is denouncing Spain. That's good. In half a mind, we do the same. So we can adapt the policy. And I almost want to dig uh, entrepreneurship. That's really, really good. Great merchants are 25% faster. Um, but honor would be really nice too. We gain culture for each barbarian killed. Hmm. And it would show us where all the encampments are too. Let's go and take honor. We might take a. Uh, some others later, but honor again, it'll give us culture, uh, combat strength, all sorts of things like that. So let's go ahead and see where all these encampments are. Right, so this is actually quite useful for a variety of reasons. Let's just see where all of the encampments are, which is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and take out this one over here. We got one over here as well that needs to be uprooted, and one over here outside of Portugal, too. Hmm, but this one is, is more of a security risk for us at the moment. Let's go ahead and pull back this unit. And this one as well. I have no regrets for taking that particular uh, tree, but uh, again, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a gambit. So let's go and do that upgrade, which will allow us to make yet another frigate, which is really, really good news. So over here we are going to make another farm, that's fine. Let's go ahead and take out this unit over here. Of course, most unfortunately, we still have not received our trade ships back from Rome, so we can't quite declare war on them just yet, but we can soon. So I don't want you guys to think that I've forgotten about that. I certainly haven't. So let's go ahead and attack them. And just like so, we've gained some culture. And actually, this is really quite good. We're going to recoup the culture that we've lost by killing so many barbarians. Really, I mean, there's just a multitude of barbarians we can take out here. So let's forget, again, is going over to Rome, just like the others. And this unit, where are we going to send him? We could send him over here to take out this barbarian encampment. That's fine. And these units are about to, are about to set sail for Rome, just like everybody else. Let's go ahead and end the turn again. I know peace is boring, guys. I do apologize. This forget we will send over here. It's fine. Next turn, next turn, next turn, next turn. We're about to get industrialization, actually, in this episode, which is super, super cool. Can't wait, personally. And some people are fighting over the conversions of our empire. It's a bit funny. Uh, let's go and heal up this unit. Send out this unit. Heal up this unit. 
Send you up here. Send you over here. Send you over here. And this worker we're going to send over here to work on perhaps a mine. I'm going to heal you up. We're going to heal you up as well, actually. This caravel can be sent over to the combat. That's fine. I'll take this one as well. Fantastic. So, this Portugal still hate us for really helping them out. Hmm. I'm going to denounce Egypt because I hate them. And we're going to see how people react to this. Where's Egypt at? Just right here. Ah, and now Ant. Summa. Trade. Is it over here? How do I denounce these assholes? Have I have I already denounced them? So it's okay. Okay, well, fuck you too. All right, so uh, we can't do anything about that. What about Spain? You should be able to denounce Spain as well. I made the misfortune of declaring friendship with them last time. That was that was a bad idea. Um, can't do anything. But let's. Uh, all right, well, they, they don't care about us either. So, with that being said, again, we're sending our units over to Rome. And we got some money again, which we will use to buy another trade ship. Or a cargo ship, to be more specific, from Carthage. And let's go ahead and end the turn once again. You're going to go up there to Rome. You're going to heal up. Heal up as well. We're going to keep you just right outside the range of Rome so we don't piss them off. What about these missions that these units have? They want a connection. Genoa. So we'll, we'll connect them. Why not, right? Well, we don't, want to, we don't want to break Sweden's alliance. That would really piss off Sweden. Instead, maybe we should trade with another... City state, maybe like Biblos, as they want us to make a great merchant, and we are very close to making a great merchant. Yes, I think we are. We're relatively close, anyways. We're close to making a great musician as well, which is really good news. Let's go ahead in the turn. Let's see how this puts us on the charts. Oh, we are going to denounce the shit out of you, Rome. Fuck you. We are really going to hurt you, Rome. We got a great musician. Good news. Let's go ahead and immediately make another great work. There must be a great work slot of the appropriate type somewhere in your empire. Oh, there's not. Yeah. Well, once there's an opera house, I think there will be. So I'll keep him over here in Utique, just for that time to come. Of course, this musketman is going straight to Kumai, just like the others, as will these crosswomen. It's for you. You're going to go over with the rest of them. Just like so. This cargo ship is going to go to... Maybe I should head over to, to Babylon. Babylon seems to be pretty friendly. I'm just a bit, a bit worried about this island with barbarians. Hmm. Maybe Athens. Athens would actually be pretty nice. We get a lot of money from them, and they're not Portugal. Let's go with Athens. It's fine. As for this unit, we're going to keep him over here for the time being. Okay, so let's go ahead and end the turn once again. Let's see where this puts us. Of course, we've got yet another fucking barbarian musketman coming in from the west. Oh, that is just so annoying. And they're probably going to take out our iron too, as they normally do. Jesus, that is so fucking obnoxious. We'll take them out eventually. We'll get around to it eventually, I should say. Let's go ahead and take out these units. After we heal up a little bit. As for these units, we're going to take them back to Sigantium. Let's go ahead and the turn. Let's see uh, if he decides to land on my uh, Citadel tile, which he probably will. It's all sorts of annoying, but it is what it is. These things happen. The Ottomans have denounced Rome. Babylon has denounced Rome. Good. Spain has denounced Spain. Fantastic. 
And they did not actually take our iron from outside of Saltium, so I'm a bit happy about that. It's really good. Again, we're sending our, our uh, ships to the east. Take out Rome. And we will return the unit. Gotten some culture and some money, which is fantastic, all around the board. We put this unit over here, that's the Bergusa. I think Bergusa is still allied with Rome, so it doesn't really matter what they think of us. Let them think what they want. And as for everything else goes, um, I'm not seeing that many encampments. So we're just going to take out this one, and we'll take out the one in the west as well, as it seems that Morocco cannot be phased into taking it for themselves, of course. They're a bit too lazy for that. So we're really going to fuck up Rome as soon as we have the opportunity to. Of course, we're not going to be stupid, though. We're going to wait until our trade roads are uh, exhausted before we declare war on them. Yes, let us work together, Arabia. We love you. You're like one of the only friendly people that we've got going on over here. Where is Rome trading? Trading with us, actually, which is a bit strange. We are trespassing once again, and there's another barbarian encampment. This time a bit closer to home. So we're gonna we're gonna destroy him over there. So we destroy this one over here. We'll return the union unit. You have my thanks. Well, thank you. How how do we fare with our relationship with uh, Harun Al Rashid? Pretty well, actually. Let's gonna check the time. Okay, we're doing pretty well. We're going to go ahead and improve this unit over here, or rather this area. This cargo ship was, I believe, going to Rome. Let's go ahead and send it to somebody else now to diversify our portfolio and really allow us to declare war in Rome without fear of any economic uh, sanctions, I guess, against us. It's just like so, we're really ready to go to war. So we should be here in a minute. And you can go to the east. Look at all these frigates I've got. I've got way too many of them. Excuse me. I might buy another one, too. Just for fun. Just for fun. Okay, they're a bit more expensive, so I can't. So we'll wait on that. That's fine. Um, what else can I do? So far, so good. Um, am I still trading with Rome, though? Yes, from Gades, it seems. And Hippie Regius. We need to stop both of those before we declare war, so we're going to end our turn. We will gladly give you that deal, Mr. Friendly Arabia. 950 gold. We got quite a bit of gold. We're seeing on quite a big stack over here. And they've just converted my capital to another religion. They seem to love to fight over... Ooh. Okay. So we're taking another encampment, gotten some culture from it. Fantastic. Just like so as well. Really glad that I picked Honor as a tree. It seems to be working out pretty well for us, actually. And what else we got going on over here? We got some more troops arriving from the southeast. From our war with Egypt. And take a look at this. I, I don't go over the map very often, but take a look at this. Germany is actually in modern-day uh, Greece, or I suppose this could even be, be uh, Macedonia. Um, and look at this. Uh, looks like Attila is getting taken out by somebody. Who? I don't exactly know, but we'll find out soon enough. Uh, for the most part, everything seems to be normal here in Europe. Um, really nothing too much has changed recently. So let's go ahead and continue where we left off. We're sending out a unit over here to scout out this encampment to ensure that we can destroy it. And I will be keeping a regular army, actually, down here in the south to dispatch these encampments. They give me culture and money, so really they're just a win-win. Now we're here outside of Carthage. We could build another opera house. Uh, we should potentially make one in Saguntium, actually. As this will allow us to make our great work, which is... Since some I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end that so that YouTube doesn't flag me for copyright, which they seem to do pretty often, which is really annoying. Um, right, so let's go and take a look at all of our cities. So far, so good. So far, so good. 
great people are about to be born in most of my cities. So that's great. It's going to continue. And really, Rome's about to fall. I mean, is there really any illusion that we are about to declare on him? No, no interest in the arrangement. Sorry, fuck you. Look at this. France has declared war on Rome, which is really, really cool. Or rather, Rome has declared war on France. We're trespassing Ragusa, but do we really care? The answer is no. We don't give a fuck. Um, right, so... Three more turns until we take intelligence from Rome, so I'm going I'm to hold off on attacking them until then. And what else are we going to do here? Right, we're going to take out this encampment. And this encampment as well. Perfect. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And again, see where that takes us. Ta'ala. We will definitely gladly accept a research agreement with Arabia. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? And you know what? We would be interested in a trade agreement with England. Why not? Certainly there have been worse things in the world. And we have plenty of cotton, so yeah, why not? It's okay. We're still trespassing in Ragusa, but do we really care? No, we don't. Um, again, this spearman, or rather pikeman, will be kept in the middle of the map an eye on the developments that are going on in the world. Let's go and attack the pikemen a little bit. Why not? God, I love how uh, all of the religions of the world are fighting for uh, my cities over here, it seems. Let's go ahead and end the turn once again. Of course, we need to wait until our trade ships are done trading with Rome. We only have two of them, but they should be done soon. So Germany has also declared war on Rome. This is fantastic. This is really playing out to the best for us, as this is going to keep them occupied. Uh, really, this, this couldn't get any better. Let's go ahead and make a windmill for production. That's pretty good. And also over here in the capital, we could use the same thing. For production, of course. This would give us production plus two and engineer slots of one. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. And we need two more universities before we can take a Oxford University, which is really, really helpful. Put this unit over there. Heal up this unit. Fantastic. Besides that, we are going to keep this guy over here. And again, move this guy over here. So all is good, mainly. We're really going to fuck up Rome as soon as we have the opportunity to. Move you over there and move you over there. Over there, fantastic, fantastic. Let's go and end the turn once again. And we even got a brand new uh, crossbowman in the Roman theater. Everybody's declaring war on each other over here. And, and look at this, Orleans. Orlon is actually almost under siege, almost destroyed. Um, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna give you one salt, but we're gonna take maybe four GPT, does that work? Sweet. Thank you, Sweden. Best buddies with Sweden here. So we can steal some technology. Um, our defensive pact has ended. Let's go ahead and steal... I don't know. What would be more useful? What's, what's harder to make? Metallurgy or chemistry? Chemistry is harder to make. Let's go with chemistry. Cool. And let's go ahead and continue to do what we're doing over here. Just like so, and like so, and like so. And I'm really kind of getting impatient. I do want to declare war right away on Rome. We can't quite do it just yet, which is really annoying. So we got a new salt resource, which is great news. Keep a worker over here just in case. Let's go ahead and turn once again. Yes, we will take a defensive pact with you, Arabia. Nobody's going to declare war on us. And England has begun to recreate their medieval empire by taking out, of course, cities along the northwestern and western coasts of France. It's a bit sad. And navigation was stolen from us, but we don't really mind. It's okay. Another encampment, however, was discovered somewhere. Not really quite sure. We'll take out this encampment over here. And as for these units, we can go ahead and pull back a little bit to heal up. This cargo ship, I, do, I believe, is done trading with Rome. Fantastic. Let's continue to trade with other people that are more profitable, or less profitable, but, you know, not Rome. So, uh, just as good, I suppose. And all these units are ready. Instead of Rome itself. Good, good, good. We are really going to destroy them as best we can. 
We do have one more unit that's continuing to trade with them, so we need to fix that. And as for this unit over here, we can send over this encampment. But we need to go ahead and send them over here. Can we go ahead and buy another frigate? Not quite yet, but soon. What else can we buy? We're going to gun some. Let's buy a... Eh, nothing really that good, actually. Um, okay, so... We need Saltium. We need a university in Saltium. To make an Oxford University. We're going to need a university in all of our cities. So that's fine, of course. Sagantum is working on their own. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Pretty soon we can make a uh, war with Rome, as all of our trade ships will be sent elsewhere, which is good. And I'm really glad that I've taken the honor tree, as this allows me to really pinpoint where these barbarians are coming from. Everybody's announcing each other now, so that's good. The world is really kind of imploding over here. And our friendly... Okay, so that's okay. It was just, uh, it was just Napoleon. We don't really mind. No problem. So these guys are done making a farm over here. We're going to have them work... Or rather, just stay in Gades. Uh, stand by. We're going to upgrade you. And let's go ahead and work in Hippie Regius on the mill. It's helpful. Or maybe even, actually, a seaport. This would give us production. Hmm. Well, windmill first. That one next. Uh, a mine over there. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and send this unit over here. See so it's done. And we should look at this. There's already a problem over here. No, 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 no. We do not want to clear war on Harun al-Sheed. Al that would be a bad idea. Let's do it like that. We've gotten some culture too. Good news. Let's go and end the turn once again. See what we can do. And why, why is this unit... Oh, I went on a mountain. God, I'm, such, I'm really stupid sometimes. Let's go and end the turn. I was like wondering why I've lost so much stuff going on over here. So England is really thrashing France over here. Which is a shame, considering I'm friendly with them. So they want pearls. I have two of them. That works out quite well. So I'm just waiting for my trade ship to get back from trading with Rome. Ragusa is in awe of me. But it doesn't really matter, considering we're still kind of unfriendly with them. We're not on good terms. It's going to take out that unit. And take out this unit as well. We'll take Shock as our upgrade. We're going to go ahead and heal you up too. So that's good. But really, I'm, I'm getting kind of bored. I want to declare one room, and I want to declare one room right now. We might as well just take the hit, really, with the trading ship to Rome. We don't really care, honestly, at this point. Why don't we just go for it? So this guy, we're going to go with Cover. This unit, we're going to take out this, this place over here. So we're going to do that. This guy, we're going to go with Medic. This guy, we're going to go with Farms. This guy, we're going to keep him right there. And we got a Musketman in Salt Team now, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and send him over here as well. Production in Salt Team. We're going to go ahead and make a, I don't know, a zoo for happiness. That could be nice. As for this unit... We're going to send back to Saltium. That being said, um, one more turn, and if, again, if we don't get the option to stop trade with Rome, we're just going to declare war on them anyways. I've only got about 10 more minutes on this video anyways. So, Augustus Caesar has entered the Industrial Era. Bad news for us, I suppose. I wish once we took their cities, we got, like, you know, more stuff. So, we got a new great artist. It's fantastic news. But we don't... Let's go and cut down some trees over here. Farm, farm, farm. Good, good, good. We'll keep you over here on standby. For you, we're going to heal up. For you, we're going to make a great work. Just like so. Nice. Um, peace treaty between Ramses is done. Let's go ahead and heal up. And we're about to take out this unit. Fantastic. Choose some production over here. So Sagansom. Well, we will make... I was going to make an Oxford University, but that's a bit ridiculous. Let's go instead and make a zoo for happiness. And let's just fuck it and declare war in Rome right now. Discuss. We're going we're gonna to denounce him. And then we are going to declare war on him. Just like so. 
A trifecta is what I like to say. So in the turn, next turn we declare war on him. Sorry, really sorry, but I, I don't want to declare war on Ramses just yet. So people hate Rome, it seems. That's good. In fact, who is at war with Rome? I could probably just ask to uh, join their fights. I think Germany's at war with them. Let's go ahead and do that, and then I'll just buy another trading ship. That's fine. So, okay. What we're going to do is Germany is at war. We will declare war on Rome. But what will you give me for that? Okay, well, you give me pretty much nothing, but we want to be at war with Rome anyways. So even that nothing is better than what we had originally. Let's go ahead and make another trading ship this time in Gades. Again, the cargo ship is a small price to pay for war. This guy we're going to keep over here. Just to make more farms. And let's fuck up Rome. So these guys don't have any uh, range, so we're going to put them over here. Outside of the city. This guy also, I believe, does not have any range. So we're going to also bombard. Just like so. These guys, we can be begin to attack. Just like so. Ooh, we are really fucking him up. We're going to move in for the kill. And now we can move in even more units, which is great news. We're going to move you back. Just a remover. Cut down some trees. And Kumai, we're going to move into the battle. And we got, I believe, some range on a few of these units. Just these. Plus one range, plus one range. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue, or let's sort of start to bombard Rome itself. And we got a new great person, too, which is fantastic news. Let's go ahead and see where he is. He's playing Carthage. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and send him into the battle. As best we can. Does this guy also have range? He does not. Does this guy have range? He does. That's good. Again, we are going to continue to bombard Rome. But we can't hit Rome quite yet from this angle, so we're going to move him over here. And as for these ships, we will be ready to declare, uh, rather, attack pretty soon. We're going to kind of get everybody ready for the photo op. And Rome has got this over here. We're going to plunder it. It's payback, really. And let's continue next turn to really fuck up Rome. In fact, we could, we're going to take Rome in this episode. Why not, right? Damn straight. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope you are. Um, right, so again, we're going to take out these units and return the unit. They're still guarded. Okay, whatever. We don't really care. In the turn, this pikeman, what are we going to do with him? We are going to send him perhaps... Well, we're going to have him as a guard. That's fine. It's in the turn. And Rome is going to fall pretty fast. We've got the muscle and the might and all of these great things. And everybody's announcing Rome now, so I'm not the only one. I'm going to be careful not to plunder anything from Rome, though, because I do want their resources as soon as I uh, assume control. Um, let's go ahead and make a... Zoo or a bank? Let's make a zoo. We do need that happiness. We're going to need it very, very soon as well. So, we're going to put this unit over, I believe, here. It would be for maximum benefits. And these guys, they don't have range. So, let's go ahead and take out this unit over here. That was quite easy. And move in some more of our units. Of course, there are range units. We are going to bombard the crap out of Rome. It's almost too easy, really. Range. Okay, this unit does not have range, so we're going to have to do something else with him. That's fine. Uh, I would attack Rome myself, but if we could just do it like this, it would be a little better. We'd save some manpower and all of that great stuff. Um, does that have range? Let's just go ahead and bombard some civilians. That sounds fun. And again, moving in our units. This cargo ship is going to be sent to... I believe Athens is probably still the best bet for us. Or even Genoa. I believe Athens would still be better than Genoa. Let's just check Genoa, though, really fast. Yeah, Genoa gives us pretty much nothing. So, Athens it is. We will continue to trade with them. Which will give us some money. And as for this barbarian encampment, we are going to do a good job at destroying it as best we can. 
course, ever marching forward here. Just like so. Ignore that ringing. It is unimportant. Um, right, so this unit, we're going to sit over here to the east. It's going to be turn. Let's go and see how we are on time. So I need to end the episode pretty soon, actually. Antwerp is liberated. Well, that's nice. A lot of declarations are being thrown around right now. No one has announced from. We have taken industrialization, which is fantastic. Um, we have no sources of coal, however, which is a bit annoying. Let's go ahead and end all of these. We got a new spy, too. So let's go ahead and put the spy maybe in a city-state that we would like to take control of. Maybe Ragusa could be useful. Ragusa, where would that be? Right, perfect. So we're going to start rigging ele elections and all that fun stuff. Uh, and we could make an Oxford University, but I would like to make a Big Ben as well before anybody else takes it. So we're going to go with Big Ben, and we will choose a research metallurgy as we're a bit behind now. Uh, right, so Rome, Rome, Rome. What are we going to do with you, Rome? Well, first of all, we're going to move out our other uh, unit in Rome, from Rome, because we're going to take Rome. Um, so let's move this unit. What is another... Maritime city-state. So I really like maritime city-states. Biblos. Let's go ahead and set them up in Biblos. A biblical city, if there ever was one. At least with a name like that. So both of our units are going to be sent out to do that. That's good. I did not even mean to do that. I don't know why I did that. We can make Gatling guns, though. But I don't really want to go ahead and do that unless we had a plus one range, which we don't. So again, we are going to hit Rome with our ranged... Uh, frigates, and in fact, even our non rage frigates, which we're going to do like this. That works out really well for us, actually. Bombard them. Bombard. Just like so. Send this guy over here. We're going to continue to bombard. Maybe not the city of Rome this time. Maybe we should do the unit. Nah, fuck it. Let's just continue Bombard Rome. We'll take it next turn. It's well worth it. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and move you over here. Where you can bombard some stuff too. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and move in our melee units. Because we are about to take the city itself. Which I am very, very excited for. So we're going to keep you over here. Just out of range of Rome itself. And you guys are going to take out this guy. We're going to return the unit. I thought they would like like us, considering we've just returned like 3,000 of their units, but they haven't decided to like us just yet. It's a bit annoying. Let's fill you up. Take you out. And I believe that's pretty good. We've done a pretty good job so far. Again, there's some coal down here. So I really want to make a city down there, actually, because we, we do want some coal resources. Uh, does Rome have some coal resources, though? Doesn't look like they do. That is annoying. Not even on Sardinia or Corsica, either. And not over here, either. That is just so, so incredibly annoying. So, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna make a new city, actually. Down here in the southeast, outside of the Biden Crater. Or, yeah, Tin Biter Crater. Um... And that's a pretty good location, actually, for a city. It would give us more gems and silver, which I don't even think we have gems. We don't. So let's go ahead and make a cellar. Let's move to the southeast. Uh, why can't we? Their unit is stationed in the city, so we're going to move them out. Just like so. Where's the cellar? Okay, so we're going to move him out of the city. That's fine. Let's go ahead and continue the road. And make a settler now. So, this settler will be useful. We're going to send him down there to the Tin Biter Crater. Uh, really, really fantastic news all around. Let's go and end the turn. Next turn, we're going to take Rome. Can't wait. I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck you, France. We don't care. And here we go. Rome is about to fall. I hope you guys are all excited for this uh, legendary moment in time. It's going to be really, really nice. Let's see what we do here. It's promoted, of course. It's going to take shock. Heal up those units. We're going to send them down here to dispatch this unit or this area. Heal you up. 
And we need to move our troops out of Ragusan territory, as they're a bit pissed off about this, actually. It's not surprisingly, I suppose. So this guy is about to die. Um, should probably do it like that. That's fine. That's better than anything done previously. So we've got quite a bit of coverage over here with our great admirals, which is good. Let's go ahead and bombard the crap out of Rome itself. That was amazing. Rome will be ours. I cannot wait for this historic moment to pass. So, just for good measure, um, hmm, do like that, do like that, can't do like that, so we're going to move you up there, it's fine, we're going to move you down here, um, is that a good location for the city, where, where would be the best location for a city, maybe like right here, this is close to the oasis, uh, and the plains, yeah, we'll set him up up there, that's fine, move him down there, so let's go ahead and take Rome. This was, you know, kind of like our mission in the first place. Or maybe even with the caravel would be better. Yeah. There we go. We've taken Rome. Rome has lost its capital. This is a great, great victory for Carthage. Let's see what they've got. A shitload of wonders that are all added onto our list. And look at our happiness. We are so damn happy now that we've taken Rome. Taking the Temple of Artemis, the Taj Mahal, the Parthenon, Machu Picchu, Himeji Castle, the Great Wall, the Globe Theater, which actually is already filled out with works, the Colossus, Chichen Itza, and the Alhambra. Wow! What a steal. We are going to immediately puppy, puppet the city. I almost said puppy, didn't I? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move in our units. I am so incredibly happy. I hope you guys hear my voice. I'm like ecstatic at this point in time. I did a really good job over here. Uh, and we're going to go do that. We have won! We've done a great job, ladies and gentlemen. We are the captors of Rome, and we're probably just going to burn down Antium, actually. I mean, it's kind of deciding what we wanted to do with that. But guys, again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this, this far. We've done really, really well. We've done a great job, actually, by capturing Rome. And uh, Carthage reigns supreme, I guess you could say. Let's go and do one more turn. Uh, just to kind of see how things, how the dust settles down here. But we have Rome, which is so, so cool. Our happiness has increased. Our money has increased. Everybody hates Rome. So, like, you know, we, we couldn't have done better than that. And this Roman unit's pretty much surrounded by our city. So we're going to fuck him up, too. Um, open borders from Maria's over. That's fine. City connection's up. Units are promoted. Life's great. Go down there. And remember, next episode, stay tuned for it. We're going to set up a new city to grab some coal. That's what we need really badly. And all these frigates, they're so beautiful. We've gotten everything we needed. I can't believe it. We have such a powerful naval force, in fact, that we should take over some other cities. Why, you know, why stop at just Rome, for instance? We could uh, take out, for instance, maybe some of the Ottoman territories, maybe even Antium. Antium could be a useful trade port as well. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. We had a, we had a really good run here. A lot of fun, really. We're going to send all these frigates over here to the Adriatic Sea, where we're going to continue to fuck up Rome. Well, Antium, really, but Rome through Antium, I, sh I should say. Send them up like that. Or that way, that's fine. Going to heal up all these units that have taken casualties. We're going to increase our vision. Actually, let's go ahead and increase our vision by going over here. Yeah, and we could use some work boats actually too because we have some sources of crab and we don't even have crab So that's that's like perfect man. That's like a really good thing that we could do um, Again, we've done really really well We've basically won all things considered here This unit we are going to bombard yet again some of these Roman units And as for these crossbowmen, we are going to send them out into war if we can Of course this one's going to be healed up but this one's not going to be. Move you over there, you over there. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this far. Got a lot of more tourism now, a lot more happiness, which is all, all these things are great. We're going to make yet another um, trading ship, cargo ship, I should say. And stay tuned for the next episode where we finish the war with Rome. Um, I believe this is the, the final city is Antium. Um, and really kind of solidify 
our position in the Mediterranean. I mean, as you guys can see, we've got a great position. I might, might even found two more cities, one down here and one here in Sardinia for these extra crab resources. So again, guys, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.